Hey guys, this is John T. I'm back with another video. So I'm gonna uh, show you a small trap that you can set up for uh, for the white if you're playing as black. This is called the fishing pole trap. It's a very effective way to get a checkmate, and the uh, white would never know what's happening to them. So let's just start. It's a basic opening. White is gonna open with the e4, and then we reply with the e5, and then the knight is gonna come with the f3 to protect and attack so we protect our pawn with our knight and then obviously they could play with the bishop and to attack the knight that's okay you don't really care about that what you really need to care about is getting the knight up to f6 and after that you're gonna wait for them to castle if they do castle now the trap is engaged so what you do is you bring up the knight to g4 and let them attack you with the pawn. Now if they do that, just bring up your own pawn and let them have the knight. Like that. So what this does is that you have an opening for the rook here. Very basic and plus your queen can come here and attack. I think. So basically he's gonna save his knight right now. He's gonna put the knight somewhere else because he didn't want to lose the knight. And you just basically go ahead with your queen and try to attack the king and now they're basically out of moves they don't really know what to do so basically what he might do is he might bring up this one so that he can give the king some room and this is what you have to do you just bring up the pawn here so that the king does not really have any other place to go and no matter what white does after that this is it so that's here for the king so this is called the fishing pole trap and it's like a very effective thing a lot of people will just go for the knight sacrifice there so if you see that they have done a castle at this point where you know the pieces are open so basically this is your chance to get the king and get an early win without any problems it's just nine moves the game is done Alright, so this is another trap called the Lasker trap. Let's let's see how it works. This is again a uh, white plays d4 and black would reply with the d5. And the white might reply with the c4. You just let them have it. You just go the, your own way with the e5. So now they take your pawn. That's fine. We just progress our pawn a little bit upwards so that we have some more opening space, which is a good thing. If they try to come up with e3, then you attack the king with the bishop, which is a very easy check. So now they're going to cover up with the bishop. What you do is you take that pawn so that the queen, if the bishop takes the bishop, the queen actually has a say in that as well. So basically he's going for the bishop. After that what happens is you go for the pawn and take the other pawn as well and now the king has a check he definitely has to protect himself and basically what you can do is you can take another <laughs> their knight and then you can check the queen uh, check the king with the knight and now you use uh, activate the other bishop and basically their queen again is a little bit trapped behind the king and this is it after that the king does not really have any other options other than to go on the left side and then you have their queen and basically the game is done after that so this is a very good trap that you can use and uh, white would never know let's just go over it again basic moves and you need to make sure that this pawn progresses a little bit up keep on taking it up but first you have to check the king with the bishop now attack it attack it again attack it again with the knight and now you have the other bishop open to take the queen so it's the last good trap it's a wonderful trap it's amazing how wonderful chess can be with such small things so this is a budapest trap let's see how it works so it's going to be d4 
and it's going to be the knight f6 and the d2 sometimes white plays that as well so what you do is you bring up the pawn to e5 and let them have it that's fine you take up the horsey and they're gonna attack so you put up the horse here and now they're gonna obviously attack <laughs> with the other pawn so what happened is you check the king and that's it the king has no other way to go because he's trapped and this is it that's the only move they can play and they're done with so this is amazing Budapest trap a lot of people don't really realize that this can happen as well let's try it again d4 f6 you gotta wait for them to put up the horse here the king does not really have any other space put up the pawn here take the horse here take the horse here and now you have an opening for the queen king has no other way to go all right so there's another trap called the monticelli trap it's a combination of the bogo indian defense named for italian champion mario monticelli from the game monticelli versus Prox, pro case whatever so let's just try that basic move d4 then we have a f6 then we have a c4 then we have a e6 then we have a f3 now these are normally basic moves that people do in the start so then there's a b4 bishop he tries to attack your king so you protect the king with the bishop there's a bishop exchange and then after that he might move his own pawns so you just take out your bishop as well take out the knight so far it's like a basic game going on no problems to the knight exchange so now basically what happened is that the queen had this line of attack and this bishop can take this as well so the black has to decide what he has to do so what black can do is he can take out he decided to take out the knight so we take out the bishop and then after that the rook as well so they're stuck so obviously you're two pieces up and um, otherwise the other move what they could have done is they would have just uh, taken out this bishop and you would have gone for the checkmate so that's another thing that we can do so it's a it's a very amazing trap let's just go over this again start this again <clears throat> d4 f6 c4 you gotta look for a combination where your queen is attacking the right side basically wait for the castle king side and then after that you put up your knight here and this is a position that you're gonna look for the knight is gonna be standing on g5 to activate this position after that if their bishop tries to attack your bishop you basically go for the checkmate otherwise if the queen comes and attacks your knight then basically you go and take bishop then the rook and right now the knight is trapped here as well so these are the kind of things you can do in the Monticelli trap it's so it's a wonderful deal 10 moves and the game is yours Alright, so it's another kind of trap that, uh, let's just study this, it's a uh, UV Max versus Capablanca, very famous game, so let's go ahead and study that game right now, see what happened. We're playing the white right now, so it's going to be D4, regular move, F6 with the knight, C4, F3, B6, G3, B7, now basically you're setting up the trap again and this is the bishop attacking us you take down the bishop now you're basically gonna attack in the same old fashion he brings back the knight 
right this is a variation from the last one all right so what we can do is we basically take the knight after that he takes a bishop and now we have an opening to the rook basically he takes our knight we take the rook so he's gonna trap us with the queen but we can still get away no problem Slight variation on that attack, but still, you know, works out in the end for the white. A lot of moves here. And basically, it seems that white is in control right now. And basically, from here, Kepa Blanco won the match with 64. He did not lose a game despite the strong opposition. Kepa Blanco hoped for a new match against Alkeen. However, the world champion asked for an entry of $11,000 based on the gold standard of 1922. The demand was too high in the period of economic crisis, inflation. So, anyway, this was a good match as well. And uh, basically, I guess the black one. I'm not too sure who won there. <clears throat> so this was basically um, like what you can you can say it's a, it's a trap against a Monticelli trap. Like uh, you can play this in order to go go against the Monticelli trap, and uh, you actually have a very good position where you might be able to win the game from there so let's go ahead and go for another Kaniger trap let's just try to study that we'll block again so white starts with d4 then we have f6 then we have a c4 e5 e6 And now we have a check on the king. So basically, he brings out the knight. You take the queen to e7. And then obviously, the white might attack you at a3 with the pawn. So basically, you take back that pawn with the knight. Now your bishop is gone. And what you do is you attack the king with the Knight. Now the king can't really do anything because the pawn there to protect the king can actually take the knight but obviously this queen is attacking the queen and king and basically there is it. <laughs> you gotta check me. It's an amazing tale. Let's just try to repeat that again. It's a d4, f6. You need to get the knight in position. Get the king blocked off. Take out the pawn. And then attack the king with the knight. So it's an amazing, it's an amazing trap. Like uh, it's so genius. You can't really even think about it right now. Seeing is believing guys anyway. So let's go for another Blackburn shilling trap. Alright, so e4 e5 is played, f3, and c6. Then there's a bishop, c4, take up the knight. He's gonna take your pawn. And you go over the queen. He's gonna try and attack the rook. You attack the rook. You're gonna try and save it. And then you go for the check. Gonna try and save with the bishop. You make another check, and that's gonna be a checkmate because the king is trapped, the bishop cannot really move. And this is the let's uh, just repeat it. it's like seven moves, and this is a wonderful thing. Basically, what we have to do is get a path for the knight, 
get a queen out. Don't worry about their knight coming up trying to attack you. Now the white is trapped. Checkmate. <laughs> it's just amazing how the game works. Let's go for another trap that's called a legal trap. E4, E5, F3, D6, Bishop. Now the knight goes here, e5, and basically he has an easy option to take it. So basically we're trying to give up the queen here, no problems, because we're trying to check the king. The king is coming up, and we have the other knight put up a, a check to the king, and that's it. It's a checkmate. It's a very complicated attack, like uh, it's really hard to understand what's happening. But let's just go ahead, because we can easily miss this and you can easily end up losing a, a lot of material so let's just watch it again knight bishop bishop knight he's uh, trying to get another bishop out so we give up the queen and basically we do a check to the king then after that the king is trapped with two knights and a bishop. So it's an amazing thing. The legal trap. Nobody's going to pass out the queen. Once it's offered to them. So it's just amazing you know. So uh, I just wanted to show these traps. In this video. I'll come back with some other traps as well. In the next video. I hope to like those. Do try to have a. Put up a like on the video if you like it. Try to subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.